Hello, everybody. Shell Broadnax here with another episode of Stager Talk. And I am joined today by these two fabulous men from Austin, Texas. This is Jeff Arnold and Richard Klein from The Staging Guy. Hello, gentlemen. Hi, Shell. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to talk a little bit about RisaCon and a little bit about uh, Jeff and Richard's session at RisaCon, which is about buying wholesale internationally. But first, let's to get to know the two of you a little bit. Can you tell us about how long have you guys been in business together? What's your story? How did you come to work together? Well, I started uh, the staging guy in 2010. Um, um, and for, for many years, it was a, it really a one-man show. Um, I, you know, I had, I had, uh, um, I had really taken my business as far as I could on my own. Um, I mean, and obviously, I you know I had hired I had hired movers and and people to help me um, in in different aspects, but but I had never hired employees before. It had always just been just me, um, and it was always me on one end of the sofa when we were carrying it up the stairs. Um, in 2016. Um, Jeff and I went into partnership. We've been friends for years. And uh, in 2016, um, he came out to um, to uh, the Las, the Vegas, Las Vegas, Vegas Furniture Market um, with me and uh, just uh, um, just at, at on the lark actually came out and and um, was a little amazed at how much less expensive um, buying wholesale was and what he was used to seeing in the retail and the, the retail market. market. Yeah. And, um, so that, that got, uh, got us to thinking about, you know, what we could do together. And, uh, and Jeff has a much, much better business mind than I do. Um, far better. Yeah. Well, far better. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's absolutely true. Um, so, um, um, with with his business savvy and and uh, and with my my experience with staging, um, we went into business together, and that was almost almost three years ago now. Yeah, and, on three years, and um, <laughs> and we've uh, we've moved into a, a much much larger warehouse than what we what I was currently in before. That actually has uh, climate control, which is in, amazing. In a bathroom, you don't look like you're going to be murdered. <laughs> 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 and uh, and we're we're currently uh, we're going to be moving in the next couple of months to a much larger warehouse. So uh, we're, we're right now we're in a nine thousand square foot warehouse. We're moving into to an eleven thousand five hundred square foot yeah. warehouse. So yeah. so in just the next couple of months, we've just been growing, and we have we have a couple of full time employees and and part time employees and contractors that we work with on a regular basis. So it's just been uh, it's been uh, growing by leaps and bounds since uh, since since Jeff we partner has been partnered up <laughs> since, uh, since we partnered up yeah. yeah yeah you know come think of it now I'm seeing this on the screen we probably should have picked better chairs well, to, I look yeah. like I'm three times your size <sighs> well <laughs> <laughs> so Jeff let me ask you so we all know staging we just determined staging is very right brain left brain mm -hmm. right. um, people have a tendency to actually be drawn to each other where one has one part of the brain and one has the other. So Jeff, how are you on the creative aspect as far as the color and all this actual staging? Do you have a flair for that as well? Well, I, I, I had actually met Richard initially in a staging class here in Round Rock. And uh, that was back in 2016. I'm a real estate broker here no, in Texas. Oh, yeah, no, 12. Might have no, been 12. 2012. 2012, yeah. 2012 sorry. And uh, yeah, I'm a real estate broker here in Texas, and the uh, and so I took the real estate staging class to find more about more really to connect myself with stagers in the area. I wasn't that interested myself in doing the staging, and uh, but just to see who was around and how do I connect with them. And and uh, Richard was president of the local chapter of uh, the staging group, and so I he came to talk to the presentation. So I met him there and just used him on all my listings that I had. So awesome. so I did that for a number of years and. Just flew out to Vegas, like you said, to check out the market and get a little bit of a vacation in and just was wild by what opportunities were out there. So for the for the connecting with the wholesalers and whatnot. And so that's what we did. Right. 
So, yeah, but to answer your question, Sean, oh, we, we don't we don't let him we don't we don't let him have any any say at all in what goes in. So nothing good can happen if Jeff or Shell comes to stage your house. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, 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 I'm not I'm not, I'm not skilled at it. No, but, <laughs> I, I, it's so funny because I talk to stagers. You know, I do a lot of career counseling for stagers starting their business, and it's like it's very right brain, left brain. You got to really make sure you've got both sides of it because for me, it's like I can stage a house. I can. I don't want to. There's nothing exciting about it. I don't wake up in the morning and say, I can't wait to go pick out these aubergine pillows. That, you know, corrupt. Do I chop the pillow or not chop the pillow? I don't care. I don't even care if there's a pillow on the sofa or not. So. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. But I do know how to hang artwork correctly. I do know that I know the, the standards. You know, I know what to do. It's just, it really doesn't excite me either. But the business end of it, that I'm all over that part of it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, when I'm out to help out on projects, I've, I've, I've been corrected several times on how to hang art and things of that sort. So I've, I've been through it. Hmm. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's really funny, though. But I love it. It makes the best partnerships. And, and mm -hmm. adding staff, I mean, I know for myself, even with Risa, I was a one-person show for so long. And now the last three years, we've had staff, and they're amazing. Right. Um, right. Just so you can do so much more with so many more boots on the ground, so many more people. Mm -hmm. uh, so I love that. So let's talk a little bit about um, wholesale. So we know that over the years, you know, back in the day in the early 2000s, when I got into the industry, people were renting from court or brook furniture, buying accessories, retail. About five years ago, something went tink. And everything shifted and we saw more and more stagers getting into the wholesale uh, market to be able to buy that way. And obviously it's going to really improve their bottom line because they're not spending retail. And then of course, in the last year we've come up with the Risa buying group, which enables a lot of people to get even better than the wholesale pricing where they couldn't get it quite on their own. You know, if you're doing big, huge volumes, um, you know, on January 1st, everybody's treated the same. You have to keep those minimums every year. So right. the buyer is enabling a lot of people to have access, even better access than they can get on their own. But you guys are doing things just a tad differently with buying wholesale internationally. So let's talk about that for a minute. What made you even decide to look at that as an option? Well, what, what happened was that uh, we, we obviously have been buying wholesale now for a few years and a number of connections. And the, the recent buying group is just a remarkable tool set for people, especially if you yes. don't have a big buying yes. you know, need sort of thing to get in there at stocking dealer price and, you know, free freight Fridays and you know, whoever has different sort of deals they've got going on. You know, people really need to explore that because that's a, a remarkable benefit. But the uh, uh, but what we were getting things shipped in, we, we would always see that. Like the boxes were marked, you know, made in China, made in Vietnam, made in wherever type. Made thing. in Mexico. Made in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And so just looked at them and, and told Rich, I said, well, you know, if they're, if they're buying them from China and all that, why, what's stopping us from doing something similar? So we decided to just kind of explore that and go directly to the manufacturers to see if there was what kind of opportunities were there for us, you know, a company our size. We're not a, we're not a, a huge operation. We're not, you know, but we still have a sizable buying need. And so we went to Canton, the Canton Fair in Guangzhou, China last April, uh, just to kind of do a test. I mean, first, first trip out is halfway around the world, you know, to go yeah. check it out. And, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and so I was like, well, all in. And, uh, and so, so we went out there to check it out and met several really, really good vendors, uh, out there that, uh, that provide that actually manufacture the goods. Um, there is a large quantity that you have to purchase from them. It's not the same as buying it through a wholesaler here in the U.S. Uh, obviously, there's there's other things with customs and importing and you know getting the freight to you and things of that sort that have to go through the the, the process. But uh, but we did that, and I went to um, uh, I went down to Mexico in last no this was in February uh, to check out some of the manufacturing they have down there as well. And so we've made a lot of good connections with uh, people in Mexico mm -hmm. for, and it and it's remarkable, um, remarkable quality that they have too. Mm -hmm. So, so the uh, and that's what you have to kind of watch out for in in China and Asia is you know kind of the quality that you're getting, but it's 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 obviously better pricing than if you bought it wholesale, as well. You, you just know, have to buy a lot. Yeah, you know, one of the things in in China that we that we found is that that um, like you know. 
backing up a little bit, you know, there, there's one particular sofa that we have that we have purchased from from a um, a company here in the United States that that we have we have bought that sofa several times. Um, really like the sofa; it looks great in all sorts of all sorts of uh, of uh, circumstances, all sorts of houses. And then, and then we found we found a the manufacturer for that sofa in China, and then just with a little bit more digging, we found six other manufacturers that made the exact same sofa. Now, not for this company that we've been buying it from, but they make the same sofa, and and went over in Guangzhou at the Canton Fair, speaking to some of the vendors. It's like so many of them will make anything that you want you know right. you know show me a picture and i'll make it for you what color do you want it in how big yeah. do you want it and it was just um you know pretty remarkable really at yeah. how at how quickly um um they would people would just say yes to things and 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 be able to give you a price right away now you know again maybe I don't want to buy 40 sofas, you know, that's not something that we necessarily wanted to do. Um, but we have, uh, we made contact with a, with a, a broker in, in China that has, that has been able to work with different vendors over there to be able to, okay, you don't need to, because, because she has developed a relationship with them, with those vendor, with those manufacturers that, that, so we won't have to buy 40 sofas. Maybe we'll only need to buy 10 of those, but we'll also then have to buy some dining chairs from that vendor, you know? And so they've been, because we've established a, a relationship with them and we have a relationship with the, with the local broker, we've been able to get, uh, we'll, we'll be able to get, um, better quantity uh purchases and a mix in order to and make a mix a, to make containers to make up make a full container so because they don't want to ship over half a container of, of something right containers. and about how much furniture can you get into a container like what does that look like i mean i sure i mean i'm sure if you just did all case goods it's one answer but for for what you guys are doing how much right. comes over it, it obviously depends on what you buy i mean you know sideboards dining tables and those type of things all different sizes but the uh, but like with sofas, if you get a you, they're typically twenty foot and forty foot containers, and okay. so you know obviously twenty foot is going to be half the size of, and they go by square meters, and so you just figure out what the size of the box is that this stuff's going to come in, and just start to calculate then how much you can buy of each thing, and uh, and they're the 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 people in China, especially in China, are very very skilled. They're all going to be very skilled at trying to figure out how many you need. In order to fill up a container, because obviously that's what they they're they're used to doing that all day. So, but you could go from having to buy, you know, 150 sofas to you know 475 chairs and you know 25 sideboards and you know 400 and some odd bed frames. You know, just it's it all just depends on the size of the container you're looking to get and how much you want. Because obviously, right. the larger the container or the more you're shipping, the better your freight's going to be coming across as well. Because you're going to break that across all those items to see right. what, what the unit costs are going to be. So it's just that, you know, the more you can buy, the better the deal that you can get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a lot. I mean, the, you know, the, the, it's not going to be 10, 10 side chairs and three end tables and, you know, a couple of coffee tables. It's, you're going to have to, you're going to be buying a lot to do this. So is there a, would you say there's a good range? Let's say if somebody was getting your average things for staging. And it wasn't primarily focused just on sofas. So let's say somebody wanted to buy many houses full of furniture. And that could have been 10 sofas and all the rest of the combination. But what's the dollar figure for like one container, like an average order that you guys have seen? It, the average is probably going to be between twenty and 35000 somewhere around there, probably yeah. per container. Oh, wow. But that's a lot. It would be a lot more. Yeah, so that, and that's a lot yeah. of stuff. Yeah. And and really where you get a, a, a really big bang for the buck are things like outdoor furniture. Uh, uh, that's one of the things we really encountered with, uh, like going to even the, the, the biggest market, was it's very difficult. We, we had a hard time getting any outdoor vendors to talk, outdoor furniture vendors to even want to talk to us just because we're not a, we're not a storefront. Right. Right. So, you know, it's just like, well, we don't want to just sell you 
five of these. You know, we want to sell you hundreds of these. That's and so, but uh, but in China, there there are that's where a lot of it's made. So you know, there are vendors out there. They they just want to do business, and so they're willing to work with you. But again, you're going to be buying a lot of it. You're not just going to buy five sets of something. You might buy five sets at a time of each thing, but you might have to buy twenty different styles. You know, something like yeah. that. So yeah. it's it's you, you, it's quantity. It's still all quantity. It's, yeah, it's quantity. Right now, now Mexico is not quantity. You don't. You, there's there's less of the MOQs you have to deal with, with that. And of course, the freight's a little bit easier too, since you're not going across the ocean. You know, so, MOQs. Uh, minimum order quantity. So that uh, you just have to get across the border. You just have to get across the border, yeah. which of course might be a little more difficult. Right. Well, well, and you know the thing with China is that now now there's all these tariffs, and which has made right. made pricing go much higher. You know, and that's been passed along higher. with the with the wholesalers too. Yeah. You know, we get the notices yeah. that you know there's a ten percent or fifteen yeah. percent increase. Yeah. You know, things like yeah. that. So, and it depends on where it's coming from. I mean, you know, Malaysia, Vietnam, those places still have a they're they're getting a larger um, a larger manufacturing base going in those areas too. So, yeah. how was the communication with everybody overseas? Uh, at the at the fair, and for the most part, with the with the with the manufacturers themselves, they they spoke decent English. It was pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah, um, right, we still, didn't actually we didn't have any problem at all at the fair. No, not so, at the fair. Yeah, right, none. Right, no, none. We just we were able to able to communicate none. with them just fine. Because uh, the restaurants where we had the big problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was not a pleasant experience. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> It's like I'm pretty sure I would not order that. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a picture, it's hard to tell what, yeah. what what's going on yeah. with it. So yeah. 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 That's awesome. So how much of this are you gonna be able to get into with everybody um at Resacon? So you're gonna give a talk, it's gonna be like 75, 80 minutes is the time frame. So you're really gonna be able to teach everybody kind of the basic nuts and bolts if they're considering doing this, some tips, what to stay away from. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. And, you know, I think one of the things that that had, had that has helped us the most since we've been back working with working with the vendors that we met at the Guangzhou Fair was that we met them. You know, we took we took the time and the money to go to to go to China, to go to the Canton Fair and meet them in person. That made a huge impression it does. on yeah. people. Uh, and on on the vendors, I mean, because now now they have a a, a, a face to put with our name. Right. Um, we're not just you know, you know, some crazy person calling them from you know from Texas, wherever that might be. You know, um, asking asking you know for better pricing on things. You know, they know us, um, and uh, um, it was. I mean, we we really did get a, a, a lot of remarkable um, reactions from people that when they realized that, you know, we had come all this way to meet them. You know, um, we had obviously we had made appointments for some with some people that we knew that we wanted to talk with. And uh, and then when we got there, it was, um, you know, um, we were, you know, given you know, a very, a very cordial reception when we got there. So it was very nice. Right. And as far as, it, as far as it goes for the, for the topic that we're going to be talking about there at the conference, it's really going to be more, um, yes, there, 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 there's importance of going and seeing the folks in China and all that. That's a very, very strong point with, with the Chinese culture, but it's, it's going to be also other ways that people can connect with the Chinese manufacturers or with other Asian, mm -hmm. you know, Turkey, you know, Mexico, Things of that sort. How you know? How does one even start looking at you know the options of looking to go international as opposed to just buying from a, right. a wholesaler here in the U.S. And there, you know, and and what are the upsides and the downsides to it? I mean, obviously, upsides always going to be price, but there are going to be downsides, and so that's what we want to go over too. Is just to say, look, these are the risks that are involved with that process as well. So it's not it's not all just you know, oh, let's all go do this and 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 get this all taken care of. It's there's there's some thought that has to go into it as to what right. kind of risk you're willing to take to do this as well. Right. So. Well, I'm so grateful that you guys have <clears throat> actually already gone through the process. I was fascinated when I got your submission. I was like, wow, this is really 
this is really something. I mean, this is just not anything. I mean, staging has come so far in the last 16, 17 years. It's just amazing how far we've come. And right. I really appreciate everything that you put into this and being willing to share it with everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, sure. I remember, Cheryl, I mean, I, you know, uh, it wasn't that long ago when, you know, it was like, oh, you can go to garage sales and pick up, you know, pick up furniture for, you know, pick up things. You know, you see people put it out on 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 bulk trash day. You can pick up furniture that way. You know, it's like, no, <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> you can't do maybe at some point in time you you people could get away with that. But you certainly can't do that anymore. You just you can't do not do it. There's yeah. a saying, you know, that saying, you know, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. Well, I like to say if you keep doing what you're going to what you're doing, you're going to get less because everybody else has raised the bar. Right. Oh, absolutely. That's right. It's and it has really people have raised the bar. I mean, the even we see with the home staging industry awards. I mean, <laughs> Richard, you've been around forever like me. So it's like I remember way back in the day, 2008, when we first did that, it was submit it in a PDF. <laughs> and people were like, what the hell's a PDF? <laughs> Why do a PDF? And then, it, you know, we just from even the technology aspect, but I go back and I just even look at the pictures and uh, we've come a long way. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, there, there's, uh, I mean, there's so many photos that people share, um, you know, of, of the latest staging. So it's like, Holy cats. I mean, look at this, look at this house. I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, that, you know, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's like, mm, did you stage it or did you decorate it? You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not quite certain sometimes. But <coughs> it's, uh, you know, just, just beautiful work that, that people are producing. Absolutely stunning work. Um, yeah. Um, I agree. I agree. We've come a long way and, uh, I certainly appreciate the two of you and what you're willing to do. I'm trying not to choke right now. I'm getting over being sick, so I'm like, <clears throat> am I going to get through this? I'm going to be okay if I start packing up along. Come locally to find me. <laughs> it's so hard when you're trying to fight it, but you know you got it under control because you're a professional, right? <laughs> not going to happen along on camera. Um, so, anyways, what else is going on with you guys? Any exciting news? Anything else you want to talk about? Want to share with anybody besides the warehouse, which is fantastic? Yeah, I mean, right now that's that's probably my full full aspect right now is just trying to get us ready to go get that moved on and get things operational on the on the new site. So that's what we're. Well, and also, well, we also have a um, another division of our company um, um, called Designing Your View. Um, we have a full time interior designer that works that works with us, and uh, um, that has been going really, really gangbusters. Really happy about that. Um, that was one of those things that that um, came out of out of staging that so many people were were happy with the job that I had done in in staging their old property that when they moved into their new one they were asking for design help. I'm you know I'm not an interior designer I don't you know I don't have I don't have uh, um, the 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 training you know I don't know. Yeah, sure. Tear down that wall. I mean, you know, that sounds like a great idea to me, but I don't know if that's possible. You know, I can, you know, I, I you know, so, so I was always, um, and, and also I don't really like people at yeah, much. I was say he's you know, I, you know, people, so it's one of the things I like about staging is that it's instant gratification for me. And I don't have to, I don't have to worry about if my client likes it or not. I'm, I'm staging for a demographic. I'm staging for, you know the buyer the buyer um and then and so working with the design client is 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 can be very difficult for me because suddenly i have to pay attention to whether or not they like blue or you know what their design style is and and things so i mean i can i can i can create a really beautiful house for staging but creating that for for a very specific uh client is difficult for me so, so, um, I was turning, I was turning down a lot of those design jobs because I just didn't want to do it. And, um, that, that caused us to like, well, maybe we should just hire an interior <laughs> designer. Maybe we you shouldn't know? be doing that. Yeah, we shouldn't be doing that. 
And so, so we did. We hired Stephanie, and and um, and she's just been she's just been wonderful. Um, so we created a, a different division of, of the company called Designing Your View. Um, we're also um, uh, an authorized dealer for Hunter Douglas window coverings, and and um, that's been that's been that's that's part of that company, and and um, that has just been. That's just been great. You know, that's been a, a really, really great. That's been growing quite a bit. Um, yeah. Great business model for us. So, so yay, yay that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah. So, that. you know, doing our best to find, uh, you know, to find our, find our niche and, and um, you know, keeping the, keeping the bills paid. So. I'm into uh, it. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and I normally have art behind me, but. And since we're in my office right now, but everything's available for staging, so <laughs> that's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time we hang something, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's fake. fake. Oh, it's fake. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a, there you go. We'll show everybody. There you go. <laughs> We've got the whole studio. This is what happens in my neck of the woods when you become an empty nester. I don't. I don't create a yoga studio, but I create. Oh wow! Oh, look at that! With all my lights. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm not going to turn the camera around on my desk. I'm not. That's that's too no, much risk. No, no, don't do that. That's, no. That's why we don't film this in my office because behind me in my office it's an utter train wreck. It, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what's that's, here. That's down over here. Yeah. That's <laughs> shipping supplies, business notes, and horse stuff all behind me in the, in the background so we figure i love the log cabin look i'm a country girl so i love this in the back and nobody knows that it's not real until i move it <laughs> that's remarkable yeah that looks pretty cool. not here i guess i need a better chair though this chair doesn't the color doesn't match <laughs> hmm. yeah um, i know richard's going hmm she needs some help with that chair well, we're really looking forward to Risa Khan's show. Really, really yep. looking forward to it. Me Very much. too. I really appreciate y'all coming on today. And I think that's going to wrap it up for us. So if you have not made your decision to go to Risa Khan, there is still time. And right now we are at the early bird pricing. So please go to RisaConvention.com. Check us out. Also, the Home Staging Industry Awards. You can nominate somebody for a Most Influential Award. Uh, there's some other categories where you can nominate people. But check it out. We've made some great changes, um, and we are accepting uh, nominations and submissions. I believe it's till April 15th. So uh, check out both the websites. Until then, happy staging. Thanks for joining us today. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.